Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? How was your vacation without me, without hearing this voice? How was it? My vacation was uh, relaxing. What I did you do? I slept all day. You slept the whole day? Yes. Good. And you went out? You hang, over, uh, you hang out or something? Went to a party, anything? No. Nothing. I and slept, slept, slept. Slept, just slept a lot. I slept, yes. Very good. So I'm, I'm thinking that all of you practice a lot your English, right? That because you didn't have classes on Friday and Monday, you went, you went to YouTube and you checked things in the English. You said, oh, I'm going to improve myself and I'm going to learn by myself and I'm going to say things in English, of course. I'm guessing, right? Watching a uh, uh, stream, watching, no, listen to music and watching TikTok, some videos in English. Very good, good. That is very good, actually, when you do that. Um, TikTok is a very good way to learn, <laughs> being honest. Very good. Guys, why I only see Jorge? Why I don't see the rest? ¿Por qué no, me lo, no lo veo? Thank you, Sandrita. I'm seeing you. Roberto, Luis, good. Ay, ya cuatro días sin verlos y ya se ponen de, de, de que yo les ruegue para ver los niños. ¿Qué les pasa? <laughs> How was your vacations, guys? ¿Cómo se dieron sus vacaciones de, de mí? So, so, teacher. So, so, ¿descansaron? Uh, no. No? What did you do, Roberto? I traveled to Belisa. Really? When? When? Tell me. Tell us. I go to uh, Kai Coker. You went to Kai Coker, uh, okay? Sí. Uh, no sé cómo decir esto, pero fueron casi 16 horas de camino. It was around 16 hours of traveling. Okay. Okay. And so uh, it's very tired. Let's <laughs> see. When did you come back? Uh, yesterday. At what Tonight. time? Um, 10, 30 and, and 11 o'clock. PM or AM? PM. It was hard, right? Yes. Yeah, I know. You know, uh, I but, I think I I already yes yes. But uh, it's very interesting. 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 Uh, but um, I swim in with sharks. You swim with sharks, okay? With sharks. Um, sharks. Uh -huh. Sharks. Uh, and. Um, no sé cómo se dice Recife. Recife. Pero. Recif. Ajá. Con los Recife. Ajá, con los Recifes. Con lo que es, con lo que está en Nemo, ¿verdad? En Buscando a Nemo. Aquí, justamente, aquí. justamente eso iba a decir, pero no sé cómo se le dice eso. Este. Decía. Da. Si sea uno, le decían ellos, pero no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Sea uno o si hay one. But, pero es, si está bien emo, hay una corriente que le dicen a CA1. The CA1, yeah, si le... it's the same. CA1. But, but, vi una de esas. Really? Que es yes. la corriente, sí, es la corriente que lo lleva a Sydney. Que es sí, como la que lo... están con las turtles. When they are with the turtles and they the... get into the, the, like, the little channels of the, of the ocean. And they are, like, very like this. I think yes. so. So, uh, did, uh, this line of fish uh, uh, it go to uh, one direction. I see it's awesome, really. I know, yeah, it's pretty good. You see, guys, uh, I don't know if I already told you that what I'm studying. Ya les conté que estudio en la universidad. Sí, les conté, creo. Yes. So, we were planning a trip for these four days for Cayos Cochinos. And we were planning that. 
but it was very expensive for these days. And when we checked, it was around 12 hours traveling. And we were like, no, it's impossible. I, I We cannot. Entonces ya no fuimos. Pero vimos Belice y yo creo que vamos a ir a Belice con los de la universidad. Porque lo hacemos como para tareas y todo. Entonces, we have to. Ni modo de que ir a, a turistear, vea, por tareas. Pero Belice es súper caro. Belice me han dicho que es súper caro para ir. En cuanto a moneda, sí. Porque está a cada dólar de nosotros es dos dólares de ellos. Oh, está caro, ya, está carito ya, el cambio. Ok, guys, si bueno, va... pero, pero me alegra mucho. I'm so happy that you went, that you traveled, that you get new culture. And because you were in Belize, I think that you practice a lot your English, right? Because it was only English. I I'm guessing all of you, I know that because you had vacations, you were checking in YouTube, you you saw series, you watch series in English because you were missing speaking in English, right? So I'm hoping that. Pero eso. Bien, chicos. Eh, luego de la, la charlita con la que comenzamos todas las veces, les voy a empezar a compartir pantalla porque hoy tenemos, la verdad, un día súper tranquilo, ¿ok? So wait a second, guys. Me second, que se me trabó. Se me trabó esta cosa. Permítanme. Ay, ¿qué hice? Ok. Esto no. Esto es ok. Let me know when you can see the presentation, guys, please. Yes? Ok, perfect. So, guys, welcome back. Officially, we are on the half of our course together. Estamos literalmente en la mitad del curso. Uh, it has been a pleasure seeing you again. I hope you like your vacation, your small vacations. And guys, a, a thing that I'm going to tell you is that since this moment, I'm going to be 90% English, 10% Spanish. Okay, because uh, we are the half, so we have to, to meterle, okay, to the English. So I hope that all of you are okay. I'm waiting for see the cameras open. Thanks for the one that already happened. So guys, we are going to start with the section number four of the platform. Today we have a very good day actually regarding topics. We're going to have conversation, time contrast, check time and practice time. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and move on to the conversation. The neighborhood has changed. The neighborhood has changed. Here is a small conversation. I wanna see if you can read it. La pueden ver o se las hago más grande. La pueden ver y se entiende. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to tell some of you to raise your hand because I want to listen to you. So raise your hand if you want to read, okay? Raise your hand if you want to participate. ¿Nadie quiere participar? Escojo yo. Thank you, Mario. Thank you. Okay, Mario, you're going to be the first one with uh Ivania later we will have um, oh no chicos saben que no vamos a hacer algo lo voy a volver a mandar a, a grupos de conversación para que todos lo estén practicando al mismo tiempo lo voy a mandar a grupos de conversación chicos y que vamos a hacer después de leer esto vamos a seleccionar tiempos o fechas que aparezcan aquí actividad número uno actividad número dos luego de leer esta conversación You're going to tell me what has changed in your neighborhood since you were a kid. ¿Qué cosas han cambiado en su vecindario desde que ustedes estaban pequeños? Ustedes van a dialogar eso con sus compañeros. Okay, we're going to start with that. Clear, guys, ¿se entiende? ¿Se entiende? Yes, teacher, no, teacher. Puede repetir, yes, teacher. teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Van a leerme primero la conversación, van a practicar, ¿verdad? Ustedes leyéndola entre ustedes. Seleccionan vocabulario que no conozcan, que me quieran preguntar. Van a seleccionar eh, adverbios de tiempo o frases de tiempo. Me las van a escribir, me las van a marcar. Y luego van a discutir entre ustedes qué cosas han cambiado en su vecindario desde que ustedes estaban chiquitos. ¿Ok? Perfect. ¿Se entiende? Awesome. So I'm going to yes. be sending you to the groups. I'm going to make how many out. Okay, I'm going to make only three groups. There are going to be four of each group, okay? Y me enciende la cámara en los grupos. Que si me la pagan, los castro, los corto. 
okay? So uh, let me see who, okay. You can go ahead to the groups, guys. Uh, I'm going to give you 10 minutes to do that. Bien, chicos, pueden compartirse la pantalla entre ustedes y todo, ¿ok? Creo que ya tienen la opción de compartir pantalla para que, para que estén ahí aware. Question, guys? No? No, teacher. Perfect. Let's go. Compañero. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. ¿Y tienen la conversación o se las comparto? No, no, si lo puede compartir ahí. Okay. No sé si la ven. Sí, yo lo puedo ver. Ok. David, are you here? David? Ya, ya, ya me conecté. Ya, ya. Okay, just now. Okay, los dos. Perfect. Okay, yes. guys. You have, to, yeah. you have to work together, okay? Ya, ya está con la actividad, entonces metámosle. Ahí pueden compartir pantalla entre ustedes. Ya les di la opción. ¿Sí? Ya lo vengo a monitorear. ¿Dónde se ve eh, lo que, la lectura? En la plataforma y pueden compartir pantalla entre ustedes, ¿sí? Ok. Ok. Ok, let's work, guys. ¿Cómo vamos, chicos? Teacher, no, se, no le tomamos captura a la, a la historia. Permítanme, se la voy a compartir. Aquí está. No sé si ya la pueden ver. Sí. Ahorita le, le tomamos. Perfect. Ahí se me cuando ya la tengan. ¿Alguien ya que pueda compartir? Quiero ver. Sigan trabajando, chicos. Sigan trabajando. Sigan trabajando. No have uh, many parking lots, and now uh, is more or less parking lots. Uh, if is um, um has some uh, many cars, in the, and. Uh, uh, cannot uh, play in the streets uh, before yes I can but now not uh, that's it <laughs> in, in my case my neighborhood is different uh there are many constructions uh, the street uh, in la in la pestaña 4 no no lo encuentro dice que ha cambiado has changed in your neighborhood En 
Ando buscando. Just smart in parking lots. That because everyone has a car. 50 years old. People work everywhere. No, no was no was they they try. Ahora veamos los los verbos o alguna palabra. Yeah, sí. Es, teacher está por ahí, creo yo, ¿verdad? Tell me. Eh, eh, ¿Qué quiere decir no was they? Ah, ¿qué hora en quiero ver? Está al final. Nowadays. En yes. estos días o últimamente. Oh. Ok. Mm -hmm. um, teacher in the meaning of tearing o tearing down. Uh, which sentence? ¿En cuál oración está? En Tania, la penúltima. Uh, ¿Cuál quiero ver? Tearing. Down. And they are tearing down our high school. Mm, I don't remember being honest. Let me check. Because some phrasal verb. Ah, tearing down. Eh, demoler o destruir. Ah, gracias. Phrasal verb. You're welcome. Keep working, guys. Seven more minutes. Let's go. Okay. Que la coach no dé el, el visto bueno. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tell me. The, you say, uh, pick a name of teams. A uh, creative name, yeah. Bring it. Uh, I don't know. I say the, my team, uh, uh, their name is uh, Bulls or Chicago Bulls. The Chicago Bulls, yeah. They are from Chicago. Uh, football. Uh, no, they, uh, they are from football, right? No, basketball. Basketball? Oh, yeah, I know them. Ya hace poquito estaban jugando, vea. Mm, Ayer, no. no. Yo, yo me acuerdo eliminado. de que hace poquito y me, los escuché. I, I, I listened. Okay, wait a second. Okay, okay. Let's see. Okay. okay, guys. So, um, yeah, you can, you can pick your name. It's fine, whatever you want. Ya okay. imagino que ya tienen los verbos, ya tienen las palabras y todo, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Eso estamos. Oh, wow. oh, okay, wow. ok, ok. Vieron mi mensaje, vea. So get ready. Yes, yeah. yes, Perfect. Yeah, let's work. Chicos, vieron el mensaje del nombre de los grupos que tienen que escoger y todo, ¿verdad? Creativo. Okay, teacher. Okay, creative, creative. Okay. Good. Be right back, guys. Le ahí contesta Tania. Yeah. It seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Le ahí le contesta Matt. Remember how we used to buy. Candy at that little grocery store. Now it's a multiplex cinema. Y le contesta Tania, yeah, and they're learning down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall soon. There will be just malls and parking lots. Y la última dice, that's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Por lo que okay. veo, están como hablando de... de... ¿Cómo se llama esto? Del, 
donde vivían. Sí, de, del vecind de cómo ha cambiado el vecindario. Ajá, que ahí no había mucha gente antes y que ahora están construyendo de todo a, en cada esquina. Es, y que exacto. ellos iban a comprar no sé qué, creo que dulces. Y que ahora donde ellos compraban dulces, ahora es un... Ok, guys, are you ready? Uh, ready the name for... and everything? Uh, the bulls. The bulls, ok, it's fine. If you want to get that name, it's fine. Eh, sí, ok, guys. Algunas palabras en las que tenemos dudas. Perfect. Se dice. Perfect, that's what I want you to do, ok? Awesome. Ok. I'm going to send you right now, so get ready to speak. And see you there. In, in my... Chicos, hola, no sé por qué ustedes no se pudieron unir a la clase. No sé si ustedes no aceptaron unirse a los grupos. Pues, Oliver, I already checked your message. It's fine. Perfect. So we're just going to wait them to come back. We are going to discuss and later on we're going to go with the next activity, guys. Perfect. Everybody's here already? I think so. Perfect, guys. Oh, oh no, I'm just missing two of them. Yeah. Perfect, guys. So uh, how was the activity? It was good, yeah? We remember some things in the past. Okay, good. You remember when you were little kids, when you were playing, you were in your neighborhood, very good. So guys, I want I wanna one representative for each team. One representative for each team, raise your hand. Un representante. Por grupo. Uh, which one, teacher? Okay. Uh, and Iv Ivania Serias, okay, what is the name of your team? Okay. Uh, we are the shopping centers. The shopping center is very good. Okay, I like it. Dude, the shopping center is very good. So, uh from Jorge Alberto's team, who's going to be the representative? ¿Quién va a representar de ustedes? No va a pasar nada malo, chicos, tranquilos, no me tengan miedo. No sé por qué me tienen miedo. I don't know why you're afraid of me. So who of you? Your teacher. Okay. What is the name of your team, Jorge? Uh, bulls. The Bulls, okay, very good. And from um, David Antonio and Mario, who's going to represent and what is the name of your team? Um, no le entendí, teacher. Oh, no, no, from Mario and David. Who's oh. going to represent you guys? Mario? Okay, teacher. What is the name of your team, Mario? Ronaldo Lovers. Ronaldo Lovers, good. But I hope that is for Cristiano, right? Obviously. I love that. Very good. Ten. Me too. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, guys, perfect. So what are you going to do? You're going to tell us uh, what you discussed with your group. So Ivania, please tell us what did you discuss regarding the questions? Tell me. Okay. Teacher, for example, we spoke about the different kind of things that have changed ten five years ago. For mm -hmm. example, uh, ten years ago, we don't have a supermarket, a shopping center, a traffic in the past. But nowadays, <laughs> uh, we have, for example, more security. 
uh, we have different kind of places to enjoy with the family, to different kind of uh, food court. And we think that uh, today is you can enjoy the different kind of places around the country because also, como podría decir teacher la idea, el ambiente lo permite. Um, the place allows you. Uh, the place allows you, and only that. Good, thank you. Very good information. Class for her, guys. Aplausos. Aplausos. Ah, si me gusta verlos. Very good. Uh, now let's go with the bulls, please. Thank you, shopping center. Now let's go with the bulls. The bulls? Who's going to represent? Who's going to say? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell us. What do you discuss with your team and those things? Okay. In our community, oh, our neighbor, um, there are building a new home and apartment and mm -hmm. the many cars. Um, all that yeah, you know, uh, I used to have, well, I used to have a, ha well, I have a house actually in Ciudad Merliot. Do you know where, where is that? Yeah. Do you know the class, the Casa Club? Uh, I have a house there. And oh my gosh, when I was, when I was little, I was like 15 years ago, I guess. There was no cars there, literally just one or two cars. And right now you cannot get inside of the, of the, of the place because it's, it, there are a lot of cars. So you can, right? So I understand that point of view and they are building everything. They are building, building, building. They cannot get over it. So very good guys. Thank you, the bulls, right? Yeah. So now let's go with Cristiano Lovers. Let's go. I wanna hear you. Okay, teacher, we are, we are talking about uh, how you used to live in our neighborhood neighborhoods we we are used to play in the street uh, in my case uh, in that uh, many years ago maybe 25 years ago we are playing with our friends uh, soccer um, something like hickens i don't know Escondidas, hiking, 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 yeah. and also other other uh, game, tentarro. But nowadays we are looking the streets with a lot of cars and other buildings. Uh, for example, in Ciudad Merliot, uh, near to the La Casa Club. And now, and nowadays, I. Uh, is there is a, a super tienda Kenny and that street uh, maybe two cars three cars and nowadays all the street is is está llena how, how do you say está llena it's full of it's full of of cars mm -hmm. so mm, this the security maybe it's good today but you Nowadays, you you can see uh, kids in the street playing. Maybe they are playing into the the home or house. So that is different. Uh, if you are if you are comparing a few years ago. Very good. Thank you, class for Cristiano lovers, guys. Please, claps, claps. I want to see you. Perfect. <laughs> good. Thank you. Okay, guys, perfect. So yeah, I really like that you discuss the ideas. That is the thing that I really wanted you to do. So tell me, guys, uh, what are some words or some verbs that you didn't know? Whether you have questions with that. Preguntas con palabras, verbos, vocabulario. Or everything is clear. Yeah, tell me. 
por ejemplo, este, el, I used to, eh, yo solía, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Pero para decir, yo suelo como en presente, yo suelo I comer. Usually. Usually. Usually, yeah. I usually, oh. tal cosa. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Roberto. Nosotros tuvimos, nosotros tuvimos una que es como, ¿cómo decir nosotros? Este, como a referirse a un, a un lugar más desarrollado que antes. A place that is more developed than before. More developed than, than before. Than before, yeah. Okay. I'm going to write it here in the chat if you want, yeah? So only, thank you. That is more developed. Developed. Than before. Que antes, ¿verdad? Yeah. A place that is more developed than before. Very good. Another one, guys. No? Uh, how do you say, teacher, uh, las calles eran de tierra? The streets were of... Se me cómo se dice tierra. Permítanme, voy a revisar cómo se dice tierra. Tierra de, de... Polvo, como de dos. polvo, ajá, como polvosas. Land. Sí, sí. Of land. Polvo. Ok. Maybe like this. Wait a second. Land and dust. Ok, ahí te lo puse. Ask me. What else, guys? Preguntas de el tiempo, los tiempos que vieron aquí, eh, de las expresiones de tiempo, ¿o estamos bien? Good. Awesome, perfect. So I'm going to move on, guys, with the next activity. And the next activity is actually the, the topic that we're going to have for today. is the time contrast. So the time contrast, guys, are literally action. Well, not actions, like it might be phrases that help you to explain time contrast or part of time of some things. We have three times, right? Past, present, and future. Here we have uh, some phrases like lived, used to, walked. Those are verbs and expressions that help you to express things in the past that happens in a past, okay? Um, Osmin, help me reading the examples in past, please. This ones. Okay, teacher. A few years ago, not many people live lived here. People lived used, here. Lived here. People used it to shop at grocery stores. Five, five, fifty years ago, people wake everywhere. Thank you. Thank you. A few years ago, not many people lived here. People used to shop at grocery stores. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Very good. A few years ago, guys, what is the meaning of that? Unos años atrás. Thank you. Awesome. So, ¿para qué nos sirven los time contracts, chicos? Para nosotros explicar acciones o para darle un poquito más de contexto a lo que estamos diciendo. Para ser un poquito más específicos. Hace un par de años, hace un par de meses, el año pasado, la semana pasada, ayer. Esas son partecitas que les ayudan a ustedes para decirlo. ¿Y qué es lo que lo enriquece? El utilizar un verbo en pasado, por ejemplo, que sería lived y walked. O también se puede decir el used to. La gente solía hacer tal cosa. ¿Ok? ¿Dudas con el pasado? No, right? No. Perfecto. Jorge, help me read in the present once, please. This day, the population is growing so fast. Today, people shop at supermarkets, no way days, people drive their cars instead. Very good, thank you. These days, the population is growing so fast. Today, people shop at supermarkets. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. Very good, Jorge. Thank you. Guys, which expressions? Oh, Jorge, eh, Roberto, tell me. Eh, nowadays significa como este, en estos días. 
good. Awesome. Ah, okay. Guys, what are the expressions that you can see here that are regarding uh, time? ¿Cuáles son las expresiones aquí que ustedes ven que se refiere a tiempo? Para hacerlo más específico, ¿cuáles son? Nowadays ya me dijo Roberto una. ¿Cuáles otras ven? This day. Very good. Today. Which other? Today. Awesome. So these days, we already know the meaning. Today, of course. And nowadays, es como estos días. ¿Ok? So, ¿qué, qué usamos para enriquecer este, el presente? Lo utilizamos por lo general el presente simple o el presente continuo. Ya sabemos para qué sirven, ¿verdad? Que son los tiempos que usamos por lo general para hablar en el presente. ¿Preguntas con el presente, chicos? ¿No? Perfect. Luis, help me read in the future, please. Ok, future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. malls. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by com computer. In the future, people are going to use car every, every more. Thank you, Luis. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. Very good. ¿Cuáles son algunas expresiones que podemos notar que nos hablan de tiempo, chicos? Soon. Mm -hmm. Which other? In 20 days, years, perdón. In 20 years. Which other? In the future. In the future. Good, thank you. ¿Y qué es lo que utilizamos para enriquecerlos? Podemos utilizar will, be, que will saben que lo utilizamos como una predicción cuando estamos hablando de futuro. Podemos utilizar, eh, oh my gosh, me dio el nombre de cómo se llaman estas cosas. Y los Model model verbs. teacher se podría también como mal. Aquí están, correcto, models, thank you. Might buy, may buy, que son posibilidades, ¿verdad? Que es como podría hacer tal cosa, que son predicciones. Y utilizamos going to, que son como afirmaciones del futuro, ¿verdad? So, guys, tenemos preguntas con los time contrasts y de cómo se usan. No? Perfect. So, we're going to make an activity right now, if you don't have questions. Si you don't have questions, ¿ya le tomaron captura? Yes? Perfect. So we are going to go ahead with examples and the check time. Let's check if you already understood. I'm going to stop sharing the screen. You're going to prepare each of you three examples of things about yourself. Okay? Sobre cosas de ustedes. Me van a decir algo en pasado, presente y futuro. Así como lo vimos. Utilizándome uno de los tiempos gramaticales que les puse ahí, en cada uno, pueden usar el que ustedes quieran, siempre y cuando sea de esos, y una expresión de tiempo para hacerlo específico, ¿ok? Son el mismo tipo de ejemplos, pero relacionado a su vida. ¿Se entienden? Yes, you got it? Perfect. So, uh, five minutes to do the activity. Let's go. Solo son tres ejemplos, pasado, presente y futuro. Let's go.
Who's ready, guys? Some of you? Still working? Just give me a second, guys. They just came in to give me some my clothes already ready. So <laughs> give me a second. Sorry, guys, I'm back. <laughs> okay, guys, who's ready? Already? Yes? Already give you like five minutes. ¿Quién ya las hizo? Ivania tiene cara de que ya las terminó. Yeah, right. Ivania, I want to sí, hear you. Tengo... Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in the past, we used to pay with cash. Today, we pay with a credit card. Very good. Awesome. Good. Another one? Uh, just one thing. Okay, it's fine. In the <laughs> past, we used to play to pay with cash, and now we only pay with the with cards most of the times, or with transfer, right? And yeah, we no. can mix the the times, present and past. Or awesome, present. you got it. Very good, perfect. See, sí, chicos, um, who who loves paying with with cash? Who carry cash all the time? ¿Quiénes andan siempre efectivo con ustedes? No, Roberto, no. Mario, sí. Jorge. No. Luis. Efectivo, no efectivo. Poco efectivo. Casi Poco nada. efectivo, casi nada. Osmin. No entendí. Que si, eh, siempre andabas efectivo, cash. O todo con tarjeta. Okay. Uh, yo, eh, no sé cómo dice ambos both both, both. both. very good yeah. yeah I never have cash guys literally I never yo me subo al bus y yo asumo que en el bus voy a pagar con tarjeta a veces así de mal soy yo <laughs> yo a veces ya me ha pasado que yo me estoy subiendo del bus y es como no puede ser no traje no traje monedas ni siquiera monedas antes así que yo entro en mi cartera this is inside my bag. This is my bag. And I have this little thing. And this has like monedas because I, I never get cash right. So that is true. We used to pay with cash, everything. And I remember people walking with lots of cash. Con los rollos de dinero. And I'm like, why? No. Se siente mejor solo chollar la tarjeta. Es más chido. Very good. Who else is ready, guys? ¿Quién más? Jorge? Paragona? Jorge, okay, let's go. Tell me yours. Um, a few years ago, I live in Mexico. Today, working at home. In the future, I would like to have a many, uh, to have my own company. Very good. You used to live in Mexico. It's an example, teacher. Ah, I thought I were big, uh, like you, right? Yo dije, oh my God. No, no. no. <laughs> Yo dije, juela, doble nacionalidad, right? No, <laughs> Very teacher. good, Jorge. Thank you. Good examples. Roberto, ready? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> a few years ago, I used to blockbuster to watch the movies. What is a blockbuster? Blockbuster. <laughs> what is Blockbuster, guys? You are so young, it, teacher. I don't know what is Blockbuster. What is it? <laughs> it's a place it, when you rent a movie. For example, if you want if you want to spend your time with your family, you go out to the Blockbuster and you choose a movie in a city and you pay it for rent. That movie maybe one day or two days. Really, and it was and it was expensive or it was it was cheap. And this time it's more uh, depende porque anteriormente se consigue los cassettes entonces solo se pagaba por eso para alquiler. But how much was? For uh, each 
en colones era como 25 colones. Oh, 10, 10 dólares. Luego, o sea, como 10. 15. Ya, 15. Hágase la idea, teacher, que eran como 3 dólares o 2 dólares. Ya, yeah, yo no sé colones tampoco. De lo que se perdió. I, I didn't use colones. I only know dollars, right? Yo solo sé que el colón creo que vale 8.75 de dólar. Creo que estaba toda. Creo que ahí se estandarizó, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah, pero ya nunca, Yes. nunca, nunca, no sé de colón. Así que ahorita me sentí joven, gracias a Dios. Me siento colágeno. <laughs> ok, Roberto, good example. Give me another one. Okay, uh, today I play less of the uh, before. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, I see. And esta no sé si me salió buena, pero bueno. Eh, soon I might buy a buy I might buy a Nintendo Switch. In the future, okay, you soon you might buy a Nintendo Switch. Very, very good. What is your favorite game from Nintendo Switch? Oh, Super Mario dice. Good. Yeah, we can be friends. We can be friends. Very good. Thank you. Luis, give me an ex your examples, please. I know they already have them. Okay. In the past, I travel every weekend to San Salvador. Today, I am learning English. Soon, I will take a trip. Where? Where? ¿A dónde? ¿Dónde vamos a viajar? Costa Rica. Mire, niño, yo me siento pobre porque aquí el uno se fue para Belice cuatro días, el otro va para Costa Rica. Yo no salgo, qué bárbaro, niño. Vamos. Very... Yeah, we should go, right? I, I love, I have a friend that is from Costa Rica and she always says that it's so expensive too. That, that Costa Rica is very expensive. So I cannot, I cannot. No, I think No that compre I'm going agua. to be traveling. I think that I'm going to be in Los Angeles next month. I, I hope so. If I get the, the ticket. Recemos. <laughs> very good. Uh, very good, Luis. Thank you. Good examples. Yeah, good ones. Uh, who else is ready, guys? ¿Quién más me quiere decir sus ejemplos? ¿Quién más me quiere decir sus ejemplos, chicos? Uh, me, teacher. Okay, let's go. Uh, my example are, a few years ago, I played play soccer in the street with my, my friend. Mm -hmm. Other one? And presente sería, I currently can't play soccer because there are too many cars. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Perdón. It's fine. In the future. <coughs> Perdón. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Don't worry, don't worry. Take your time. In the future, uh, maybe I would like my children to be able to play in the street too. Yeah, that's something that I would love, right? I would love that to my children, actually, too. Because it's, a, well, nowadays, you have to, you have to live out of the town, literally. You have to live on the famous suburbios, right? You have to live out or in a very safe place so they can go out and play. However, I think that is very difficult nowadays. But, yeah. but yeah, very good examples. Thank you, Yasmin. Okay, guys, anyone else that wants to try? Are we good? Do we have questions, guys, regarding the topic? No? Guys, and could you do predictions using the time tenses? Can you do predictions about some things regarding the time tenses? For example, in the future, uh, I will be married with Harry Styles, let's say. Um, can you do predictions? Do you already know how to make predictions using will, might, going to, those things? I think I already know how to. Yo creo que eso ya se los enseñaron. No. Mm, no hemos estudiado. No. Okay, so that's what you're going to do as a homework. You are going to get ready and you're going to prepare predictions for me. Regarding what you can see, what do you think, 
you can make predictions about my life and you send me those via WhatsApp as we usually do. You just send me your name, uh, from which group are you? And you send me, right? The information in writing, well, sorry, written and in an audio, okay? Both of them. And Teacher. if I call you in classes, for example, in the case of, Oh my gosh, me dio el nombre también de ese chico. Si les digo el apellido, chicos, díganme el apellido, porfi, porque a veces me dicen el nombre cuando me dicen en chat, yo les digo el apellido, entonces me confundo. <ríe> ok, Rosales, Rosales, ahí me voy a dar. No me los aprendí. ¿Se entiende la tarea, chicos? ¿Sí? Teacher. Uh -huh. Una pregunta, eso de las predicciones lo tendríamos que hacer usando el IF. You can use if, you can use whatever tense you want. The only restriction is that you have to use a tense that is for the future. Si me lo quieres hacer con if y usarlo con conditionals, si me vas a utilizar el conditional que es para el futuro, sí está bueno. El if con conditional para futuro. Pero si me vas a decir un conditional de pasado, no. Me tenés que usar un tiempo en futuro. Eh, que yo les recomiendo que usen will, might, o will or might, porque son predicciones. Y la otra condición es que me tienen que utilizar time uh, breakers, ¿ok? Es lo que vimos hoy, ¿sí? Predictions. Porque sé que el pasado ya lo manejamos la semana pasada, también la primera semana vivo presente, entonces soy metamor el futuro. ¿Les parece? Yes. Ok. Perfect. How many predictions you have to do, guys? You have to do 10 predictions. 10 predictions. 10. Ten. Difficult. Nah, easy. For you, everything is easy. ¿Se entiende? I have one. Yes, tell me. You will travel to many countries. <laughs> Hope so. Hope so. Toco madera. Hope so. Te lo juro. I, I really hope that... Um, that's my my that is going to be my job actually in the future i hope um because my areas my area of uh, my job area is very very um big i can work in many things o sea de verdad puedo trabajar como en lo que menos imaginan el, el campo laboral es super grande so even i i even because i'm in tourism i don't want to be a guide Tourist, a guide of tourists, a guide tourism. No quiero ser una guía de turismo. No quiero, no, no me gusta. No, no puedo. What, o sea, yo no puedo, what, yo soy más administrativa. What are you studying, teacher? Licenciatura, uh, well, degree, a bachelor degree in idioms, languages, with a specialization of marketing and, and tourism. Great. Thank you. Yeah. In, in, in the UDB, la Don Bosco. Yeah, it's good. Voy a ser licenciada, pero no voy a ser ingeniera. Claro, pero... De antiguo hasta de antiguo. allá por Soya Frango. Ah, okay. No, antiguo. Me muero si me voy a Soya. Aparte, la antigua es más chiva. Tenemos hasta, hasta sillones con, con calefacción. <laughs> so it's good. It's good, yeah. A friend is working there. Is it, the, how do you say, encargado? The person in charge or the boss? The, the person in charge of the, the network, the la redes. The community manager, maybe. Yes. What is his name? Eric Gomez. Might be. Creo, me suena, me suena ese nombre. Ah, me suena. Me suena, yo conozco casi que media universidad, lastimosamente. <laughs> <laughs> Por mis horas sociales, cuando las saqué, así me tocó. So, guys, um, ¿quieren hacer preguntas para tirar las predicciones o creen que ya están bien con lo que conocen? ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Good? ¿Good? ¿No? Perfect. Awesome. Good with the homework. ¿Hasta cuándo tenemos para entregar esta tarea, chicos? Tenemos hasta mañana antes de la clase. Hoy si no les puedo dar más tiempo, sorry, pero estoy en parciales finales. Entonces ahorita eso es que me muero, ¿me entienden? No tengo tiempo. Y les quiero revisar a profundidad. So, question, guys. ¿Preguntas? No. 
Yes, teacher, no, teacher, no lo veo, chicos, ahorita, pero solo estoy preguntando. No, teacher. Perfect. I'm just going to show you very quickly what we did to, uh, today. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, guys, Um, this was the last thing that we did. I'm going to go ahead. How was the exam, guys? It was good? How you felt with the exam? Easy? Yeah? Yeah. I don't have your grades. However, I know that it's going to be good. Okay, guys. So today we started the four, the section number four of our platform, 400. Um, we have this conversation because this was the neighborhood has changed. Later, we got the time contrast, which was the topic that I show you. Here are some, some more expressions. I think that are five or six more expressions that you can use also in the video. So you should check it. Tomorrow we are going to do this activity, okay? This one, if you want to do it before, you can do it. It's totally free of you. And tomorrow we are going to go with intonation and statements because I know that you need to work on this. And uh, we're going to have this listening exercise, okay? So tomorrow is going to be on the platform. So get ready the platform for tomorrow. And if you want to do it, you can do it uh, before if you want to work on that, okay? So guys, any question or anything that I'm missing? that am I is, is missing or are we good with everything everything is clear good with the topic good, good with the homework good with everything yes okay see yes, perfect. Bien. okay guys perfect so remember that you have classes on Friday Friday no tenemos vacaciones okay viernes no se me van a ir a fregar viernes aquí Si veo tres pelones, por Dios santo, que me lo voy a quebrar en un examen y yo se lo voy a hacer. Ok, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, guys. Este, sí, el viernes, por favor, chicos, ok, hagan el tiempo para estar en la clase, sí, porque el viernes yo les voy a dar contenido importante. Ahorita les voy a dar una gramática nueva que no han visto. Ok, so get ready with that. And it's going to be this Friday and next Friday. Y de este viernes al otro ya terminan conmigo, ok. Perfect, guys. So, um, if you need anything, send me a message, send me the homework, and thank you for coming <clears throat> to the class. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a good evening and take care, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.